Hey one and all, and welcome back to the channel. So, an anime that I recently completed the first season for is No Guns Life. I really like this anime, and um, I've been trying to, you know, find an anime of, of the modern day. What I consider modern day is anything within the last five years. I wanted to find a modern day anime that, you know, I could watch. I've been away from anime for a while. I mean, um, for me, anime was at its peak, or, yeah, for me, me specifically, I'm not saying anime is bad today, but for me personally, for me at its peak, meaning for me when I was watching anime the most was like my early college days. So, so trying to um, watch some from today, it was kind of hard. It was hard for me to find some that I, that I was really into, but No Guns Life is definitely one of them. So, No Guns Life. What's it about? Well, it takes place in a near future. Some of society, some of its people have become cyborgs called Extended. They get like, you know, robotic um, replacements like arms, legs, and the main character, a part of his head. Yeah, his head's basically a revolver. His name is Juzo Inui, and he works as a private detective, um, dubbed a resolver. What a resolver is, is a private detective who solves cases, problems that involve other extended. So right there, just like the simple premise is really good. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's not too convoluted. So therefore, it's easy to follow. I like that. I, I know that there are some stories that are very convoluted. Um, not that convoluted means bad, but convoluted is definitely harder to follow. So I'm glad that the story for No Gun's Life was, you know, not too complicated. And what else? So the main criminal organization is the Baruin the Baruin Cor Corporation. I'm having a hard time with my pronunciation nowadays, guys. But then again, maybe those words are just hard to pronounce. But anyway, moving on. So, Juzo is definitely a very likable character. I think he's a very cool character because he's a balance between, like, you know, a really serious character and he has a comedic side. He doesn't go um, too extreme to one side or another, so therefore he's a very balanced character. So, that's why... I like him as a main protagonist. He's very, very cool. He, he knows how to be serious. He knows how to throw down when he needs to. But, but at the same time, he knows how to be, you know, sarcastic. He knows how to be um, funny. What funny? He knows how to be funny. Not that he's doing it on purpose, but he, but he's funny when um, he needs to be. So that definitely, you know, helps the tone of the show. I like my shows balanced. I really do. The supporting cast. Supporting cast is very important when it comes to, you know, the overall story as well. Because you have your main character, but your supporting cast should, you know, help you carry the load, even though the main character is carrying the most load. Now the supporting cast, I like them. Tetsuro um, is a victim of the Bruin Corporation. You know, he had like a lot of his bodies like experimented on and he has a good amount of extension parts. So yeah, he has um, a dark past with the Bruin Corporation, what they did to him. And then his, yeah, his path crosses paths with Juzo's. So, you know, that's how, yeah, that's how the, the main plot of the story moves forward. Mary Steinberg, I really like Mary Steinberg. She's a great character, you know. She's she's there to, you know, not only support the main character, but she's also, you know, provides some of that comedy that balances, you know, that balances the show. So that I always appreciate. 
But anyway, that's my summary. That's my summary for the show. I definitely recommend it if you're from my generation and you're trying to like, get back into anime. I say that's definitely a good one. You have a good amount of action mixed with um, a fair amount of comedy. I'll say like 25% comedy, 75% seriousness, which is a good, yeah, you know, which is um, which is a good balance for this type of show. Anyway, guys, for those of you have who have seen. No Guns Life? What do you think about it? What do you think of it? Sound off on the comments below. This is Leo, and I will catch you guys in the next upload.